Hi, in this video we are going to continue to talk about WP e-commerce plugin. This is a list of suggestions how you should use this, this video. We were at the admin dashboard um, payment tab. We finished that. So let's quickly look at the rest of the tabs that we don't really need to change much. So checkout tab, okay. Um, can the user check out without user account? Okay, okay. If you allow that, that will be good. Must the user register? You know, order. Um, do you want to enable safe as billing address checkbox with the shipping field? Do you want that? If you want that, you can enable this. Okay. So, what are the standard fields that you want to use? Okay. So, you save changes. We don't need to change much. And then um, let's look at the marketing marketing tab. Um, do you want to add certain items, and do you want to share this on social media? So it's a lot of things that you can play with. We are not going to do anything here. And do you want to import? Let's look at import tag. Do you want to import products? You can mass produce. Um, uh, you can you can uh, write a CSV file. Um, using comma to separate the values, and then you can load it to load it to import products and things like that. Okay, we are not going to do anything. So let's quickly look at presentation. Okay, um, do you want to use add to cart button? Um, do you want to hide add to cart button? Do you want to show product rating, stock availability? So all the good standard stuff you want to use. Okay, so. We don't. We are not really going to change anything here. But if you, you know, do you want to change the thumb, thumbnail size, make them bigger or smaller? So you can change the presentation here. All right. We are not going to do anything. So we are. So we set up the store. All right. So in the last three videos, we went through all the tabs and um, set up a store. So. In the next video, we are going to add products and make the products page available so that a product page will appear here so the user can buy things. Of course, we are going to sell tea. So it's a good place to stop this video. So in the next video, we are going to add products and um, let the user see the products so they can buy them. Thanks for watching.